Hey Tinkers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have Mark Bug. He's in his T71DA. That's the autoloader. Uh, articulated uh, turret. Um, what is that? Six shot autoloader. And uh, American Light. And uh, it's a tier 7. He's on proc in a standard battle in a tier 7, tier 6, tier 5 game. Nope, just tier 7, tier 6. Two tiers. So in this tier, this tank should do fairly do really well. I mean, it's got pretty good spotting range, view range, I should say. Uh, mobile, the gun is fairly decent at a, what is that, a 76 millimeter with 150 alpha, 145 penetration. If he fires the heat, it's 210. I mean, that'll melt through just about any. Well, it'll melt through anything on this field. And he doesn't have any HE, but he does have it loaded up with 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 a uh, binos, which means I think he plays. And knowing Mark's play style, it's 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 more of passive uh, spotting. So proc, great map for it. So uh, Mark told him early. He says I'm headed west to spot. So let's see how it goes. Thanks a lot. I haven't had so much success of late in this tank myself. Um, I generally don't, you know, obviously you guys know I don't play a lot of the, the lower tiers. I do play tier 7. I just haven't been very lucky at this tank yet. <laughs> anyway, Mark rolls up into this bush. Nope, he's going up to the upper bush. Whoop. Makes it past. Oh, the death-defying maneuver. I think he'd have been okay if he'd have stayed in that bush. But Mark gets chased out of it. Hellcat's taking shots at him. Everybody goes dark. And Mark not to be, uh, oh, what's the word? Deterred? He's headed back. He's going to try it again. This time he's going to run up high. Into the mid bush. Oh, gets spotted again. Dang. Was that 13.7? No, I don't think it was the 13.75. Might have been. I think it's that Super Hellcat. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, Super Hellcat's taking some damage now. Mark's getting some spotting. And he's pushing in on a thirteen seventy five. Oh, there's that super Hellcat. Oh, that boy, he really, he is, he doesn't want to deal with you, does he? But he's going to, he's going to try to get up there and see if he can't get a shot on you. I think you found a friend, Mark. Um, lit him up. And he's slowly melting. Come on, people. There he goes. Oh, and Artie. Nice turn. Slight dodger. Had you gone straight, I think it would have landed right on you. But you got the stun. Well, you got rid of the Hellcat. Your super Hellcat's moving up along with the Caro 88. And, oh, he's taking some serious fire. It's never good. This late in the game to move up that high. Alright, shot on the Tiger 1, who's obviously overexposed. It's almost like that Rudy knows what you're doing. <laughs> nice shot into the Rudy. He's just yammering back and forth for Artie's sake. Oh, T-34-85 puts a shot into a tracking shot. And he fall back. IS is now taking some damage and he's trying to shoot you. While you're on the reload, everybody's dark. 1375 is causing some. Oh, the lower 155 tries to get a piece of you. Mark turns around, he's backing in in case he has to exit quickly. Now there's some spotting. Keeping those guys lit. There goes the Tiger 1. The IS is falling back. I don't like this. He runs directly into the tiger. Now he's got to turn his side. No, oh, he's just getting tore up now. Now he's just getting tore up. Oh, you take a shot at him. There's a shot into him. 
And he's down. Nicely done. And that's how you spot light tank on proc, apparently. At least in the T-71. Mark finally makes it up to the bush here, where he's looking. Where I think this was his, his original destination, and had he been able to get up here, he would have racked up some major spotting points. Uh, not that he's doing too bad at this point. But at this point, it's 7 to 4. They've got a Super Hellcat, an AMX 1375, the Lower 155, Cromwell, T3045, two more Hellcats, and a Jackson. And most of them, I have to agree, I think are more over on that side. At least the AMX 1375 and the T3485. There's a shot in the ham. And pen no penetration. And then just a late shot. Not super fast. Um, oh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, just total brain fart right there. Um, velocity, shell velocity, you know, 1219. <laughs> just, you know, it was in there. I, I, I heard it. I heard it say, this is what you want to say. <laughs> and then it was like, poof, gone. Um, anyway, that's a CRS. All right. Well, I, honestly, I think, I'm not sure you have much over here, Mark. I, I don't know. We know that there was a Hellcat up on the hill. We know that there was a T-34 and the AMX were in the middle. Oh, there's a Jackson. Okay. I would think that the Army is over... The, the Army, the Artie is over here. The part of what makes Mark such a, a, a good light tank driver is... Uh, He's willing to sit here and very patiently wait for these guys to come back up. Now, whether or not he takes the shot no, is another thing, but he's, he's, he's patiently waiting. There's the AMX 1375. And those, they're all pushing in. They're running. They're running back for base. First at 1375, he's, he, he may have changed his mind. Are you going to get a shot on him? Oh, Mark, I think he had a shot, but oh well. Yes, all right, so Mark's making his move. 1375's run, making a run on the IKB-65. Mark's going in to help out. Now you got the thir oh, AMX 1375 is down. Leaves the T-3485, who was trying to come in with him, but now he's changed his mind. <laughs> he's like, ooh, you died. This is not good. Not not good. Not where I want to be. Mark auto aims him. He's moving in for the kill. Yep, and there it is. Let's get spotted. Whoa, there's a super Hellcat. Oh, there was one over there in the bushes somewhere. Nice. Has to be on the road there. Mark is like, okay. Apparently he had more patience than you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a camping TD. I'll tell you what. Yeah, ARL V thirty nine is over there. You don't have any support over here, so I, I guess I can understand you just duck it into this bush because everybody else is up on the hill and the ARL is being useless. I mean, I suppose you could try to make a run, a drive-by run on that on that road over there and see if that doesn't help, but... Okay, so... There's a crumb around here somewhere, too. Mark looks like he's making the run for the Lorraine. No? Where'd he go? Well within the 50 meters to light him. They may be all huddled up in that corner over there, Mark. 
back over the... No, he's back. No, I'm not about... Mark, did we lose you? Mark, did you go AFK? Ah, we're back. Need shooters down here while I... Okay, he was typing. Alright, so he's telling people where he needs to, where he needs them so he can make his drive-by spotting. Alerts get GP. Okay. Affirmative from the T25 too. Not sure what alerts good GP means, but okay. Here goes Mark. Making the run. 25 twos. They're going over by the base. That's that's wide open stuff. Mm. No guys. No 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 no. Oh my. There's nowhere for them to hide over there. Let's just pause here for a second. Where'd they go? There is absolutely nowhere to hide over there. I mean Cromwell and a super hellcat can sit there and just in these bushes and whittle them down. Hmm. Right, so Mark's moving in. I think you gotta get closer, Mark. That's just my opinion, but this is your game. And there he goes. He's making the run, folks. He's in over the first hill. He's moving into the second. Trying to find a good bush, see if he can do some spotting. Panther Sea Biscuit, or whatever his name is, is way out there. Skull Biscuit. Oh, there we go. Cromwell spotted. Cromwell spotted. Now he's taking some heat. Oh, yeah. And he's quickly whittled down to 71 hit points. And now he's down. All right. Well, we know the Super Hellcat just saw that happen to him. There goes a tree down over there. Could that be? Yes, it is. It is the Lorraine. 155. So the Super Hellcat. Mr. Patience. Mr. I am not moving to save my soul is the last one that's hammer h1 or hummer h1 <laughs> i can't read either all right so mark's moving over where the old lorraine was at if he can come in behind this guy oh this is a tricky super elk i mean he's got major camo on this thing oh spotted there he is he's up on the hill Mark's highlighted him. He's now taking some heat. And Mark puts a shot into him, and he is down. And that is a victory. I didn't mean Mark was shooting heat at him. I'm <laughs> heat by putting uh, shots into him. Anyway, congratulations on the second mark of excellence there, Mark. First class, spotter. Fire for effect and patrol duty. 42,186 in credits, 1,745 in experience. You did 1,071 in damage, got two kills for base XP of 1,163. Nicely done. You fired 14 shots, of those 11 hit, and of those, 8 penetrated. So the gun is a little derpy, and I, I think I have to agree with that. It, at least it seems that way for me. Uh, you did 294 from 300 meters out, but look at this spotting damage. Wow. 3,474. Had you been able to get up to that bush initially, I think that could have easily been a hell of a game. Uh, obviously, it was a, it was a hell of a game. Anyway, made some good credits, made some good experience. So again, um, you know, it, Mark's play starts off as a very, as a as a passive scout play. I mean, it's not a rage, you know, run around try to light everything up type of play. It's it's more of a passive, find a good bush, and if it works, stay, keep working it, keep working it. Um, you know. It, it's classic, and it works well for you, Mark. Now, congratulations on the second Mark of Excellence. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the third one. Uh, you're playing the tank really well, far better than I can. I'll be honest with you on that. And nice work on proc. I just, it would have been nice to see what would have happened if you'd been able to get to that bush to, from the get go. Anyway, that's Mark Bug and his T71 DA on proc in a standard battle. If you like the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. This is Bonsai Duck out.